crazy with that. Okay, super quick video. I uh, got a 2017 GMC Denali. Now, uh, I've had this Denali for two years, got 61,000 miles on it. Uh, bought two at the same time. My business partner has one also. Uh, and then Kurt has uh, a 2018. He just traded on uh, his previous 2015. And then the salesperson that we deal with also has a uh, Denali. And I was down there buying a couple of uh, uh, the smaller pickup. And in talking to the salesman, he said that the uh, Denali's come with the uh, option for automatic high beam headlights. Had no idea. Kurt had no idea. My partner had no idea. Uh, neither did the salesman. And so I thought I'd do a real quick video to show uh, how to turn them on and off. This will be a quick video if I'll quit talking. <laughs> All right, turn the truck on. And the indicator is going to appear in that top right hand corner above the uh, battery indicator. And if we look right here, stock has got an arrow right here. For high beams and of course you know if you pull your high beams back that your high beams will come on now if you take the stock and you move it forward and then pull it back again your automatic high beams come on when you're driving down the road uh, the high beams are on until a car approaches and then when it detects the headlights of the oncoming car it will turn the automatic head beams off. There you go. One of the quicker videos we've done. Hopefully that uh, helps some other people out that didn't know that they had it or lets them know how it works. Thanks for joining us at the Full Octane Garage. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, leave some comments below. What do you think? Did you know about this? If you did, Go ahead and make fun of me. I can take it. Uh, is there anything else that uh, you've seen on the GMC's Denali's that uh, the general population may not know? Leave us a comment below. Have a good day. One last quick point. When you turn the truck off and then turn it back on, it seems to reset the switch. So every time you start the truck, you have to push the lever forward and pull it back to get the automatic high beams on. This may be why we haven't noticed it in the past.